Welcome to a new vlog. I've been playing with makeup a lot lately, so I thought I would document this. I'm not going anywhere, and I'm actually gonna go downstairs, and I have like nothing going on exciting in my life right now. <laughs> I basically like just film the makeup and then show you what I used, but it's like an unconventional way of doing this because I'm not actually showing you the process of me applying the makeup. And the reason why, honestly, is just because A, short format video makeup tutorials are a headache. I hate doing them. And B, <laughs> because I like for people to really sink in and, and drink in the finished look. So they can like look at it a few times and really observe it. Because I feel like a lot of times you see the makeup so quick and you're like, wait, I missed that. Like what what exactly is going on here so i just want to really look at the finished product so that was kind of where i was thinking i would just like do these slow mos of the makeup show you the products and then you can kind of gauge like how this would work on your own face if you were thinking about doing something similar replicating it or just getting inspired by it so that was my thought on that but anyway let's get into what i came here for sitting down other than i'm about to take a bunch of photos and videos of this i did want to unbox something that just came you guys if you remember little box here if you remember when i got these boots i still love them and someone has asked if because they're too big if it makes them like uncomfortable to wear or if they're hard to wear and they're not which is so weird they're a size too big for me but because they're so narrow they're comfortable for me because I have really messed up feet I have crooked feet I have my grandmother's feet and so I hate it when they squeeze too much so I'm realizing with cowboy boots I do like sizing up so I wanted to get a purse to match these this is gonna be a drum roll moment because I have another purse that I thought would match them when I first saw these I was like, oh, it's gonna match that one purse I have. And I got home and I realized that the purse is way too nude. And so I'm really hoping that I was able to match the purse online. You know, cause you don't know what you're looking at. You guys know I got it from the real world because I only at this point want quality like designer label purses. I don't know what happened a switch went off I got my first one and from there on any purse I got that isn't a designer purse I don't want it anymore it has to be vintage or designer I have zero interest in going to like TJ Maxx or the mall or H&M and buying a purse I just don't <laughs> I, that those days are over and I will never change back but I lived the first half of my life getting purses from like forever 21 and uh, I'm over it Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes and you tell me. What do you think? Does it match? I'm not even looking. You guys, does it match? Hey, it matches. That's good, I think that's close enough. What do you think? Oh, perfect. So this is a Rebecca Minkoff purse. I love this chain, love that little detail crossbody my favorite kind of bag i like this little detail so when you set it down on something it's not like hitting a wet spot on a table or whatever yay okay so that was a success i did want to uh insert a video from a couple of days ago when i did a really fun makeup look then as well i did a little talking and vlogging that I was thinking I would do a vlog last week, but I ended up just uploading a skincare and Ipsy video instead. Cause I just, some people had requested that information and I knew that it had been a while since I had talked makeup and just a dedicated video to that. So I scrapped the vlog idea. So I only have one day, but the makeup was so good that I don't want it to not get shown here. So I'm going to backtrack a little bit and insert this amazing makeup look that if you don't follow me on instagram you would have seen it already but i was really proud of it so let's go take a look at sienna from a few days ago i'm on my period <laughs> there's that i just it was brutal i've had a migraine for like the past four days it didn't help that i decided this week that i was going to try to take a break from coffee i only have one cup one cup of coffee a day so I didn't think it would make that big of a difference if all I had was one in the mornings as much as I talk about coffee and how much I love it my hair is falling out of this hair scarf that I've created I have like clips back here I was just playing around with some photos and this makeup 
we can let that out now <laughs> it looks a little odd i was just trying to like think outside of the box sometimes you gotta be weird you just get bored with like the same old glam sometimes you just want to be a weirdo this is what i use for the eyeshadow i use the ciate brazilian glow eyeshadow palette i have these browns and i used both of these the dreamer and the sunset these kind of like red coppery colors and then i used a like just knock off like random pencil called espresso so this is super dark brown and then this that came in the kit in the ipsy the forget the filler lawless i love this stuff this little lip gloss so that's what i have on the lip all right and now we're back okay so what we're gonna do though is that at some point this week i also got this brow stain that stains your brows for three days i trialed it already i wanted to figure out how it works before i showed you guys so at some point this week i'm gonna sit down and show you guys how I did the brow stain and we're gonna go over that. This is a really long intro, so I'm just gonna move on. I'll see you guys throughout this week, whatever we're doing next. But yay, my bag matches my shoes. <laughs> what I came up here to do and the reason why I have no makeup on and I look a little tired is because my eyes are swollen because I am allergic to sister nature. Hey, sister nature. I just, I don't know why it makes me do that. Formaldehyde free and latex free, still allergic. I don't know what. I need to look at the ingredients and compare to all my other glues that I'm allergic to and figure out what the deal is because I can't find one that I don't have a reaction to and I know it's the glue. Put everything on yesterday for that look and my lashes were only on the corner. I very strategically placed them just on the corner and that's where the itching in my lash line is the worst. So you see how it's swollen just on the outside? Like my puffy eyes my poor puffy eyes <sighs> so this is why i kind of stopped doing makeup looks because i don't like doing really strong heavy eye makeup looks when i'm wearing lilac street because then when i go wash my face it takes my lilac street lashes off and those are supposed to last like up to 10 days i'm like crap that's just such a waste i really like to get my full week's use out of those lashes so it's kind of why i stopped doing a lot of makeup looks <laughs> what we're gonna do is this stuff is called the Tattoo Eyebrow Gel. And I, another Instagram ad, another one got me. But you have to be really careful where you put it because it stains your face. So really what I'm doing is, so you just kind of paint it on where you want it. And I don't like my tail to come too far down. I like to give it a little lift and then a slight arch. And then that center area is the trick. This is where I'm like, it needs a really good fade. It dyes the hair, but mainly it's dyeing the skin. So it's going to leave this almost like henna-like print on your face. And it's a brownish color. I got the light brown. And it does leave this like kind of brown. Mine's a, it's a little warm for me. It came out a little warm. So I do want to try the taupe next time. I went for light brown as I do in all of my brow pencils. Because taupe doesn't really show up enough for me. So I usually go towards like the darker brown. It was a little bit on the orange side, but overall, I really like the way it looked. So what I do is leave this on for up to two hours, and then once it's dry, you peel it off, and then you have your shape, and then I can just go in and quickly fill in a few little spots. But it does make me just want to look into getting micro-shaded because I just think that that would be so much easier, and this is a really great tool to help people try and see if they like the look of the micro shading because that's what this would look like. It's almost exact. So if anybody's curious about getting their brows done and tattooed, this would be a little like trial to that, but you, no commitment, last three days and then it washes off and then you can think about it. So let me just get this on. It applies really, really easily. It's very thick. But I'm really surprised at how quickly you can like get it on and shape it. I'm just, I'm impressed by that. So something about this like really thick formula does the trick. I'm gonna finish getting ready, go sit downstairs and work a little bit on my computer for the next couple of hours. Yeah, and then we'll reconvene here shortly. Uh, we're gonna discuss this. Look what came. I have a little stand now which i didn't have before so i was often trying to find places to set my kits on and spread out i need all of my stuff to be there in front of me and i need room and a lot of times doing makeup you don't get that i've actually done makeup in a bathroom at a beach sometimes you just gotta work with what you got and i would much prefer to have something mobile 
that becomes its own desk. So this I really like. This has everything kind of sitting up higher so I can just get to it. So this will be all of my primers section. I'm gonna get a, again, I'm gonna like start just every time I hit the store, grab a couple of affordable kind of liquid lips. If a bride wants a really fancy liquid lip, I kind of guide her on how to go about doing that, but I always say go to Sephora and find your perfect match color for your wedding because I don't have a Sephora to bring. Check it out. This is so cool. I love this thing. So this comes off. I have my foundations, all of my Studio Fix powders from light to dark. I have all of my little concealer foundations and then an array of foundations that I really need to, um, that's like the story of my life is always trying to find a nice selection of foundations of various kinds. So this is just like a little, you know, supply kit of a couple of disposable masks. If somebody is wanting me to wear them or if they are sniffling, I can put the mask on. I have some various types of lashes. And then I always keep like trash bags on me because you don't always have a trash can where you go. And it's nice to have somewhere to throw all of your disposables away because you do end up using a lot of disposables. Obviously you're gonna use disposable mascara wands. Obviously you're gonna use disposable lip gloss wands because you can't double dip that, can you? And then I have the type of Q-tips that are really pointy. I have some backup full coverage concealer from YSL. It's just nice to have these in case I'm unable to find a match for somebody. And then I love how deep this is because I can fit all of my setting sprays, my cleaners, everything all can fit in here with no problem at all. And look at that. And then my brush belt and an entire roll of paper towels also fits in here. That's my little makeup kit update for ya. Still Still letting this kind of do its thing. I'm excited to take it off. And then after that, we're gonna hit the thrift store. Okay, I need to get out of this house. It's been a week. Let's do this. So this just peels right away. It's gotta get like a good corner of it. And then it literally just comes off in like one foul swoop. The first time I did this, I tried to lighten up the application here so that it would have a little bit of a graduated fade. And it's just, it goes on the way it goes on. There's no like stronger or less strength of color. And I did notice too when I washed it, it was a little like patchy in certain places. So these are just things to keep in mind when applying it. I feel like this one definitely could go up a little bit to match the other side. But look at that tail end. I barely even have to fill that in. So that's great. And then done deal. My brows are done on that side. Got these like pink little dots all over my face. I'm just wearing BB cream because I'm really trying to limit the um, amount of makeup that I have on my face because I am having a bit of an allergic reaction to two of the products from yesterday's makeup look. I am allergic definitely to Sister Nature and I am allergic to this as well. The Pro Nation Bright Lights UV Neon liner. Does anybody else hate leaving their dogs? Like, I hate it. I hate, and they hate it. I think their separation anxiety makes me like wanna not leave. I don't feel cute. I actually don't feel cute today. I look okay, I look pretty normal. I usually like to dress up to go thrift, but I just like don't have the energy to do that. But I need to get out of this house and thrifting is the only thing I can think of that I ever want to get out of the get out of the house to go do other than like a dog walk. I'm just wearing my house dress. These I call my house dresses. I have it in three colors. But this is the dress with the new purse and how well it matches the shoes and I'm hoping that since I'm bringing this with me while I'm there, I can look for a belt a waist belt that matches this. Look at these brows. They're gonna fade. They're not gonna look this crazy. Right now they're like really prominent. <laughs> All right, let's go, um, let's go in and thrift. I'm gonna look for something that will inspire a blog post. I was thinking of doing a 1950s thing and either baking a pie or making a casserole. But if I don't find something 50s, I'm just gonna do something that inspires me. I'm just gonna see what speaks to me and let the fabric do the talking. <laughs> I'm old. It's official. I just got mommed. I just had a hip, very trendy, very cutely dressed 
young lady. I thought she was gonna compliment me on my outfit, and she did. She was like, oh my God, I love your dress so much. And I like, I get, I dress up when I go out a lot, so I get complimented almost every time I leave the house because I always put so much effort into my clothes and I pride myself on that compliment that I get when I leave. My husband always notices it. He's like, you don't go anywhere without somebody saying something about your makeup, your hair, or your outfit. I'm just like, I know. I live for it. I live, I live. The world is my runway. But she said she really liked my dress and I was like, oh, thank you, you know, and I was thinking this old thing because it literally is like my house dress. It's what I wear, like just lounging around the house. And she goes, I'm looking for the exact same thing for my mom. I just got mommed. <laughs> that sucks. She had on like the cool, really big baggy oversized jean thing that's going on like the 90s, early 2000s, like big baggy jeans are back. And I actually am here for it because I love wearing a bodysuit and then just huge jeans. Okay, well, here is the first bit of outfit I got. These pants fit me and I can, I can button them, but if I have anything to eat, they will automatically become the most uncomfortable thing I can think of. <laughs> they do fit, they're kind of cute. Do I like them or do I hate them? They're not bad, but like they're so tight and there's literally no um, give. But this shirt is great. So I really wanted just a nice, cozy, soft, comfortable white tee. And this is perfect. All right, and then here's the other jeans. They're way too baggy at the bottom and too long. And then I can't get them to zip up, but they look kind of cute from the back. These are men's jeans, so I don't think they account for hips and ass. Okay, here's two more things. Both a pair of jeans don't fit, which is just another reason why I've kind of stopped buying jeans at thrift stores, because if they're not going to let you try it on, and then you risk getting it, and neither of those pants fit, and they were both like around 11 to $12, that's like 25 bucks right there, just like wasted. And I'm gonna take them back, but they only give you credit. This skirt is mega cute. It was the first thing I picked up when I was shopping, calling to me. Wouldn't this be so cute with like a black bodysuit, and then some cowboy boots and like a cardigan? And then this shirt says, all you need is love. It's just another crispy white tee and I grabbed it because it was one of the markdown items, so it was $2. See why I like dresses? I instantly feel cuter. All from popping on a dress with this t-shirt. I'm actually thinking this point moving forward that I will not be getting any more summer dresses. I'm only getting dresses that are layerable. So these types of dresses with the spaghetti straps are great for long sleeves underneath, sweaters over top, t-shirts layering, and I could wear leggings with it. I just feel like this, this is the kind of dress that can transition into autumn. So I'm gonna try to focus more on clothes for the coming season and stop buying stuff for summer. But yeah, cute, cute dress. You guys know I'm a sucker for a nightgown and I thought this one was so unique. It's black and brown. It's just different. I'm gonna wear this all the time. Hi, good morning. Welcome to the next day. I'm getting ready to go get my nails done. I know. I just bought all that stuff. Welcome to the mind of somebody with ADD. I'm like, I'm going to be a nail chick now. And then I like get the nail stuff and then I go get my nails professionally done. Well, I saw this photo of my nails like really, really looking good from getting powder nails. And I was like, okay, what if we go back to trying to do that? What if we go back to trying to do the powder nails just this one time to grow them out underneath? I've been trying to do this, but the problem is, is the last time I tried it, I wasn't taking my hair and nail gummies. I'm back on those. If I keep taking those, because my nails do feel stronger and healthier and my, my hair, even though there's extensions in, I've been noticing a difference. So the hair nail gummies, doing their job, check on that, good. Yeah, we're gonna try to grow them out healthily underneath. When I get that dip removed and the extensions taken off, I'm going to try to maintain some sort of nail strengthener, but I'm probably gonna go to a salon that does more natural alternatives. I'll take the dip off, hopefully preserve the nail underneath, and then have them kind of walk me through some various options. I tried IBD Builder, but I bought a generic brand off Amazon and I'm allergic to all that stuff. So what I wanna do is the same thing, but with white. I just wanna do a traditional like kind of like trampy white French tip. I just like, I don't know why I'm feeling that right now. Check it out. This, this, this little culprit. See that line? Do you see it? That, my friends, is an allergic reaction. <laughs> 
I actually have used their glitter and this and I'm allergic to both. I really hate wasting my money, but I don't have the receipt for this because I waited too long. So annoying. My skin is bougie. It will only let me use expensive things and I hate that. I just can't use this cheap shit and I don't know what's in it. So I just put on the Lilac Street Lashes because they're the only thing that I'm not allergic to. They go on my hair. I said it a million times. I was trying. I was trying something new and it backfired. So back to a Lilac Street Lash. As per usual, I just used up my last pair. So I need to go place an order for like five more pair. And then on my lips, if you're wondering, I have on Soar, the lip pencil that I got in my Ipsy, and then also the Forget the Filler by Lawless that I got in Ipsy. So these are my two new Ipsy lips. Okay, so here's the outfit. I'm just wearing my Good American jeans, that chick's outfit yesterday at the thrift store when she made me feel like an old mom. Really did inspire this outfit. And also I was already just on the hunt for oversized jeans. I've been just seeing them everywhere and I don't enjoy wearing jeans. I find them to be incredibly uncomfortable, but they look cute. I'm obviously anxious because I am, um, my thoughts are racing and I can feel my sock in my shoe like wanting to do the thing where it doesn't stay over the foot. It's an ankle sock and I'm wearing high tops. So if this ends up... I hate that thing. If this ends up falling like into my shoe, I will have to take my shoe off and fix it or I will punch a wall. Like I will not be okay. <laughs> I can't handle that feeling. What is this? I am like in complete discomfort. I think it's the jeans. I think the jeans are making me uncomfortable. And what I wanted to wear is in the dryer. I wanted to wear the little gray dress because dresses are so comfortable. Jeans are not comfortable. <gasps> the dryer's done. Should I put them on and take these stupid socks off? This, this is Sienna and I feel so much more comfortable. I was so miserable. This is what I'm talking about. I can't, I just can't do jeans. <sighs> I feel like I couldn't breathe. It was like so constricting and I'm still getting to wear something new that I got yesterday. So I have on that white shirt with a little cute gray dress and I'm so happy. <sighs> okay. <laughs> are done she did such a good job oh my goodness I haven't had my nails look like this in such a long time it's really refreshing to have like the classic like white tips uh, that took like an hour and a half and it was a hundred dollars <laughs> when did nails get so expensive I remember when you can get acrylics for 25 bucks what I mean, it was like a process though, doing the dip. And she did them like really thick and strong because she was like, these will not break. <laughs> she, she dipped me like four times. I did go to the Compass Rose, which is just a little local store. It's where I buy my perfume actually. All of my perfume I get from that place because it's a small business brand and it's the best fragrances. I have three different ones. I think I like this one. This one is the smoked sandalwood. Um, I did find something really amazing at a new thrift store I'd never been to before. And it's a American Cancer Society thrift store. A friend of mine actually works there sometimes. She volunteers. So I remember her talking about it and I was like, I need to go check this place out. So I finally went and oh my goodness, I did find a thrifty thing to do a video about. But I'm gonna get going and I'll show you guys what I got at the thrift store and we'll talk about, I need to think about it because this was unexpected. 
I was gonna do like a 1950s housewife look and now I'm like, nope, scratch that. That's not happening this week. I didn't find a 50s dress. I'm going to do something way cooler. fire inside in that are thinking we are ruminating we are worrying we are looking for disaster and all of that is causing us to feel negatively we end up with negative feelings with blocked energy and we do we scan the horizon looking for evidence more evidence that this negative belief that we have is actually true hello good morning i was doing my hair and then i figured i need to just speed this up so i went ahead and got <laughs> pardon the dog snoring the hair is setting basically what i did i'm going for an old hollywood hair look i googled some things i youtube some things and i pinterest some things last night so i was just on it obsessing over what this blog is going to be about we're going to do an old hollywood style hair and makeup look i don't know if this hair is going to last i have to run an errand i on a whim last night thought okay i need one thing that's just really going to elevate this look and to me, for some reason, that was buying a really expensive lipstick. The things I do for my blog, you guys, but I also thrift a lot. So I feel like it balances, it balances. Uh, but what I got yesterday at the thrift store, this is a set. It's this beautiful burgundy satin nightgown. The detail of the bust is so drool worthy. It's so stunning. It's called Jonquil by Diane Samandi and it still has the tag. So I'm a little confused. Is this vintage? Is this not? The gal who Diane Samandi designed this and made this has been making old Hollywood style sleepwear and nightgowns since the 80s. So is this from the 80s or is she still designing? That's the question I want to know. But when you Google this and the style and the look of this, it does come up vintage on Etsy in the bridal section. And the original price of this is 189. This is the robe. I'm gonna show you first the tag. This tag to me looks, that looks vintage, right? The Discovery Shop is where I got it. It's the American Cancer Society thrift store. My first time ever going in there. This was 65 at their store, but anything with the yellow tag was 50% off. So I got this set for 30 something dollars. I am gonna go try this on and I'm gonna see if I can make it work for the photo and then maybe consider what I'm gonna do, but I would wear this all the time with the robe if it fit me. I think the first thing to do is to just really figure out if this is vintage. I think the best way to do that is gonna be take a photo of it and then do Google photo search. So it's called Google Lens and you can search for an image of anything across the internet and see if I can find any history on it. And then if it's not vintage, it's fair game. <laughs> I'm cutting into this mother. And then the other thing that I got that I will be cutting into, these are those teacher's dresses that you guys know I love so much. They're so tacky. It totally looks like a teacher would be like standing up in front of the class wearing this with the shoulder pads back in the 80s or 90s. I mean, come on. I almost didn't get it because I was like, dude, this might actually be too ugly for me. I don't think there is a too ugly for me. I don't think that there is. I love ugly clothes. I'm, I'm gonna put it on and then figure out the length I wanna make it and any adjustments that I wanna make to it. So maybe I can do like something different this time. This is what I mean by it not fitting my boobs. Such a luxurious satin fabric. I can't stop touching the fabric, it's so soft. I mean, this is making me want to invest in a really beautiful nightgown. This is why buying stuff like this for a bride is such a good idea. But look, look, you need to see that peek out. That's like such a big part of it. And look at the sleeves. Ugh. Forgot I wanted to show you guys actually what this dress looks like. So I did take the shoulder pads out so that it's just normal. And it's actually kind of cute, isn't it? I feel like this style dress looks cute on me. I'm actually kind of enjoying the look of this length. Like, I feel like there's a certain length that I just hate. But I feel like this is really cute. And then maybe with these. See, that's pretty, that's pretty cute actually. It needs to be washed. I have officially used up my entire mascara and threw it away. 
and this is my go-to mascara. The reason I like it is because I can easily wash it off and since I wear lash extensions I don't like a mascara that is a struggle to get off the lower part of my lashes. I also don't like rubbing under my eye area too much. I need something that kind of removes easily and this is the Piranata Organic Natural Mascara. It's the best mascara and nobody seems to fucking care <laughs> and I'm just like why doesn't anybody care about this mascara I'll see how many I have left and if you're interested I do have them for sale on my website and this isn't even because I care about the sale at this point my website's pretty much just there to get rid of some last things but I might actually hoard my mascara because that's how much I love it I love the packaging it's beautiful and I get a freshie. I'm so excited about a freshie. I was really refraining from doing this because I don't want to, I didn't want to uh, use my inventory that I'm trying to sell, but I'm not, I don't have a store anymore and I really want to get rid of everything that I have up here. I'm just wanting to turn this area into a section for all of my jackets. I want to make a jacket kind of clothing area. I don't want it to be the storage for my thrift store anymore. I'm sick of carrying it everywhere with me. This is so nice. It's like actually not gloppy. My other one was starting to get really gloppy because I've been using it for six months because I only use it on my lower lash. And then for the lips, for now, I'm gonna wear one of the YSL ones just so that I don't have nothing on my lips when I run to the mall. I mean, I am going into Nordstrom. Maybe I'll just like pop around for a second and look. That's, it's just, it's too bright. I have to like blot it make it the color that I want which it's fine when it's blotted it does actually kind of look like how I want it to look but I feel like it doesn't match the orange on here but this is what I'm going for I'm going for this like rosy balm so something that is a treatment it's gonna make my lips feel amazing okay let's see how the hair turned out I mean that is that is the look so we're gonna head to the mall to grab lipstick that I just had to have for this photo shoot. I really feel like because of the purse now, the shoes and the purse can be worn with anything because these two just pull everything together. And that is the beauty of having a pair of shoes and a handbag that match. I just love it. I mean, even black, navy blue, red. I mean, you name it, any color will look good with this, if you ask me. arrived. We are at Nordstrom. Oh, that was a dangerous gamble. <laughs> I definitely walked around the makeup and I almost started swatching stuff and I was like, no, no, Sienna. No, no. <laughs> Don't do this to yourself. Then I cruised by the Tom Ford fragrances and I was just like sniffing and then the lady came over and was like, everything is 15% off because we're price matching a sale. And I was like, I promised myself I would get my pickup order and leave. I need to leave. <laughs> and she just started laughing at me. Cause I was like, no, don't tell me there's a sale. <laughs> I really, really, really just wanted to get this. So this is the lipstick and it's so cute. I did kind of peek at it, but I want to get home. I need to get this whole concept started and I need to write the blog. So I have a lot of work ahead of me. So let's, let's head back. I'm back. Let's open her up, shall we? Came in this like not cute bag. But I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. It's not like I expected him to wrap it with a bow. But here's the ba the packaging for it. And I got the Rouge Cocoa Balm Hydrating Beautifying Tinted Lip Balm in the color in love. So romantic. Here's the container for it. Look at the Chanel. I finally own something Chanel. Wasn't I just saying that? I was like, I need something Chanel. Did I manifest this? I mean, I bought it with my own money, so no. If I manifested it, it would have just showed up at my door. Here's the color. Is this everything I've been dreaming of? I want Snow White lips. Is that what I've been wanting? Yes! So it looks like lipstick, but it's a bomb. And it applies sheer with just a hint of color so that I have a little bit of color on my lip and I could just put on a BB cream and pop that on. It feels great, it looks great. I definitely want this in the other colors. It had a kind of more mauve nude one too, I think would be really pretty, and then an orangey one. That's exactly what I was going for. Oh, I'm so thrilled. Well, this is the 
that up and then I have a little tray with all of my night routine items. So I definitely have to have this. This is such a nostalgic sleepy smell. It's the sleepy dust dusting powder in lavender from Lush. And this guy, I literally just do this and I just squeeze a little out and a little bit will like poof out and I just sprinkle it around the bed when we get in bed. And it just has this like lavendery, relaxing, lushy kind of smell like you just got out of a lavender lush bath. I also have a hand cream I keep next to the bed. This is the Tokyo Milk Song of the Siren Shea Butter Hand Cream. And that little store that I went to called Compass Rose carries this brand. And it was a Valentine's gift from my husband. So I also keep that next to the bed. I have a gua sha stone that I use to try to lift this area because I just hate it so much. So this little jade stone is really supposed to help. I try to remember, but I don't always remember to do it at night. It's also really good for just relaxing. So I just like massage my face with it. This is the new neck cream I just got. I have a different one that's already back there. So this is a creamier version. The one that I have is like a whipped butter. I like this better because it's more of a moisturizer that sort of soaks into the skin as opposed to the whipped butter that feels a little greasy just a little bit and there's nothing worse than like being in your sheets and feeling greasy. So I like this way better. This is Earth Harbor Regenerative Neck Cream, seaweed amino, acid, amino acids and copper peptides. So this was what came in my Ipsy and I really like it. Doesn't really have a fragrance to it, which is fine. And then now we have my little lipstick. Now this isn't gonna stick next to the bed. This is actually gonna probably just live on my coffee table, but that's great. Battery's dying, gonna be quick. And then cortisol manager, stress hormone stabilizer. Now this is supposed to help stabilize any sort of anxious gut stomach problems that I'm having. So I'm really excited to start this. I'm gonna go eat if my battery's dying. I'm not gonna go into this, but go to the blog and you'll read more about cortisol. I'm gonna do a little bit of research and write some stuff down there, so just keep an eye out for that. But yeah, here's my little photo shoot. Here's the photos. I'm gonna go eat. I'm so hungry. Delicious sandwich. I'm done. I feel like I always get these subs whenever I'm at the end of a productive week and I'm about to like sit down and write my blog and edit this video and do all of that stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna eat, done talking. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.